In this video, I'm gonna answer the most common question I've received in 2018, and that is, Pat, what happened to your income reports? So I'm gonna take this opportunity to tell you why I stopped doing them. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen from this point moving forward. And I wanna talk about first, why I started creating income reports in the first place. Actually, the first income report on the Smart Passive Income blog was published in October of 2008, and that was because I had just started my business in the architecture space, helping people pass an exam. You can find that at greenexamacademy.com. And I had, at the same time, several people ask me, Pat, how did I actually come out of my layoff and succeed in building this online business. And in my research, doing internet marketing and starting out in that world, I realized that nobody was really being completely honest about this whole thing because A, no, it was not as easy as everybody was saying it was gonna be. Two, nobody ever said any details about, well, how successful can you be online and how it all works, what's working, what's not working. In order to get access to that information before, you had to like pay for it. So I was like, you know what? My online business is doing very well. I'm gonna create smartpassiveincome.com and share everything and everything that's happening from how much money I'm making, how much money I'm spending, where all the sales are coming from, what's working, what's not in my business, wins, fails, the whole thing. And I've been doing that for nearly 10 years straight, month after month. Now, quick fun little story. The first one that came out, I initially was only gonna do it once because nobody else was doing it at the time and I wasn't quite sure what the response was gonna be, but I just wanted something to show people, hey, you can actually build an online business. Here's how many sales I made and here's how much money I made from selling an ebook to people in the architecture space to help them pass an exam. But the response was unlike anything I was ready for. People loved the income reports. They raved about them. They said they were so inspiring. So I started to month over month do the same thing again and again, and also include a lot of lessons with what made those numbers the way they are. Now to fast forward a little bit, in December of 2017, I had a number of conversations with friends and team members, colleagues, family members, who were talking about my income reports because they started to grow quite big, which was great. I was making a lot more money, business was going very well. I started adding new businesses into the portfolio and sharing the income and reports about those too. But I also started to receive around this time a lot of comments from people who were reading those income reports and saying, Pat, I just cannot relate to these numbers anymore. You are way beyond where I am now. You've been doing this for several years. I should probably go somewhere else because you're talking about things that are a lot more advanced. You are just out of my league now. It kind of made me realize that in a way, these income reports, after they've grown over time, have been leaving a lot of people behind. And I realized that in the beginning, they were really great because I would talk about a lot of the beginning phases of things and you know get into the details about a lot of the technical how-tos of how to create things. And now that things are at a point where I have a team, that things are being automated, um, less of that kind of content exists. And it's just been, become more about the numbers. And I never wanted it to be just about the numbers alone. And that was, one of the reasons why I decided to stop was because I just wanted to see, well, okay, if I were to stop, would anything dramatically change or drastically change in the blog? And actually having now not published an income report publicly on the blog for 10 months now, um, it actually hasn't done much. The blog has still continued to grow and I am still continuing to serve my audience and help them through the other kinds of content that I create. Number two, those income reports took a long time, a long time to put together. And with how less they were actually helping, um, I started to realize that I could better use my time elsewhere in helping my current students in creating more free content on the blog and the podcast with connecting and building more relationships online. And I've been able to save about 10 to 12 hours a month in doing that. So thirdly is, you know, with with being so public and, and getting more exposure out there now, you know, more people know about me, um, there is this sort of security issue and, and aspect of it. And thankfully, I've not had anything terrible ever happen because of that, and I don't want anything terrible to happen because of that. So that, that that was a big factor too. But you know, one of the biggest factors was the fact that you know these weren't as helpful as they used to be. Just bar none, that's the that's a that's a huge reason. And with how many hours they took to create, I just felt like, well, what would happen if we stopped? And we stopped and actually nothing terrible happened as a result of doing that. But I do have to say that many people have asked for, well, I just you're the guy who experiments. Like you're the crash test dummy online. I'm not seeing this crash test dummy thing anymore. So here's what's gonna happen moving forward. Starting in 2019, you're gonna see on all, across all of my channels, including here on YouTube, a lot more behind the scenes details on specific campaigns and business uh, functions that are happening. So for example, 
Let's say I do a webinar promotion and campaign for one of my online courses. You might see a blog post and some videos that go into detail about that campaign. So, hey guys, this is the product that we were selling. This is how much it's being sold for. This is how we are marketing it. Here is the email copy. Here are the ads that we used. Here's how much we spent on ads for this campaign. Here are the ad, uh, here are the segments of my audience that converted best. Here are the conversion rates. Here um, is what worked. Here is what didn't about that specific campaign. Because instead of a high level, hey, we did a webinar and made this, mo this much money, good luck. Now this is a, hey, we did a webinar, here's all the details. You learn from this experience whether it worked or not, and now you can take and copy and apply that into your own business too. And for the few people in my audience who have shared that with, they've got really excited about that. And hopefully you're excited about that too. So you will see, quote, income reports in the future, but they're not gonna be, here's how much money was made during that month. It's gonna be, here's a campaign we ran, or here's a, you know, we came out with a book, here's the marketing strategy behind it, and here's what worked and what we would do differently, and here uh, is how much money was spent on it, here is how much money was earned. Um, I think that's gonna be a lot more helpful. So I would love to hear from you. You are a part of this with me, and you are very much involved in where things are going in the business and the blog and the brand and the YouTube channel. So I'd love to hear your thoughts below on the income reports, on where they're headed, and just your general thoughts about that because you guys are very important to me. Please speak up, I'd love to hear from you. So leave a comment below with your thoughts. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you do that because we're gonna have a lot of these more in-depth, campaign-based income reports coming out in the future. So thank you again, just especially for those of you who have followed me across the years and have seen me grow and seen me learn. I'm still learning as I'm doing this. I'm still, I, I, I still get lost. I still get stressed. I'm still trying to figure things out. And I'm just very thankful that I have an audience like you to help point me in the right direction. So thank you so much. All the best. Please subscribe.